Today's Daily Dose of Math is part three of our series of videos about the rhombus. In this video, we ask the questions, is a rhombus also a trapezoid? And is a trapezoid also a rhombus? Here we have a blue rhombus, and we can see that it is a rhombus because it has these little lines that show that all four sides are congruent. That's what makes it a rhombus. And we have two different yellow trapezoids. The one on the left is an isosceles trapezoid, and we can see that by the little lines that show these two opposite sides are equal in length. And we have information given that tells us that side AB is parallel to side CD, and that side BC is not parallel to side AD. This means that the leftmost of the two orange figures is an isosceles trapezoid. The one on the right is a right trapezoid. It has two internal 90 degree angles. Side AB is parallel to side CD. Side AD is not parallel to side BC. This is a trapezoid. Now, all of this is done using the definitions for the two shapes. Let's look at those definitions. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with a pair of opposite sides that are parallel and in which the remaining pair of opposite sides are not parallel. Warning! This is the exclusive definition for a trapezoid, so called because it excludes several other shapes from being trapezoids. There is also an inclusive definition of a trapezoid, but I'm using the exclusive definition because that is what is used in the curriculum where I teach. Is the rhombus also a trapezoid? No. Why not? Because although it has a pair of opposite sides that are parallel, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. It does not have a pair of opposite sides that are not parallel. So that means a rhombus cannot be a trapezoid. Are these trapezoids rhombuses? The answer is no. The definition of a rhombus is a quadrilateral that has four congruent sides. Neither of these trapezoids have four congruent sides. And in fact, the characteristics that make them trapezoids make it impossible for them to have four congruent sides. So the answers to today's questions are no. A rhombus is never a trapezoid and a trapezoid is never a rhombus. So long as we are using the exclusive definition of a trapezoid. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.